So, hello everybody. I just met Dr. Eugene. Uh, he is, uh, he lived in Somalia before I was born. He's yes, a, he has got an amazing story and he's done his dissertation on Somalia, right? Is that correct? Correct. And, uh, and his, his, his son, Mark. Oh. And his yeah. nickname and, is Degoweni. And his nickname is Degoweni. Uh, he has a big Dego, I guess. <laughs> and uh, Mark lived in Somalia too. Yes. So tell me about your experience in Somalia. Or how many years? Two years. Two years. I was a young boy, first grade and second grade. I went to the American school in Mogadishu. So I have fond memories of growing up as a, as a little boy. In, what was Somalia like? It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Any words that you remember? Things that I remember. I remember going to the beach. I remember learning how to swim in the Indian Ocean. And it was, it was beautiful. And uh, uh, my brother was two years old. And my sister was four months old when we left wow. to go to Somalia. And, and, and here's your dad, Dr. Dr. Yes. Eugene. And, 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 uh, he was called actually Muhammad, Muhammad. Uh -huh. after the prophet, and then my son Randy was Roble, Roble. for rain, which uh -huh. is a blessing on the desert, uh -huh. and my daughter was called Lul, Lul. a gift from the Indian Ocean, oh. a pearl, Lul. MashaAllah, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. Dr. Eugene, uh, you know quite a bit of Somali. Well, we we would call you Odai Somalian. You know what I mean? Somali elderly. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uncle, are there are there Somalia? But Duga is uh, in those days. And was, you, have you been involved in the Somali education? Well, uh, I was the among the first team to set up the National Tree, uh, Teacher Education Center. And what years was this? This was 1963 to 1965. Hamar Wayne ended at kilometer four. Afar. Yeah. Kolabo to the Afar. Afar. Kolabo to the Hamar. Keep counting. Well, no, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. So, um, what else do you remember, Dr. Eugene? Well, a, a great deal. In those days, Somalia was a very peaceful place. Somalis did not eat fish. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the Americans opened a canning plant up in the north. And that was the first time that Somalis ever ate fish. They were canning sardines. That's true. That's oh, true. That's amazing. Yeah. So and, and what course, did they eat? What kind of meat did they eat then? Uh, well, they <laughs> they ate goat, <laughs> and but basically, uh, you know, I don't get it. Uh -huh. I don't get it. Right? She's laughing. She knows I don't get it. Oh, what, what kind of, what other <laughs> foods do you remember? Well, Zambuzi, then, of course, you served it uh, uh -huh. tonight. And uh, depending on the region of Somalia, but the flatbreads were certainly part. Roti. Yeah, that was all part. But it was also... Mufo? It, it oh, that's Mufo, I think. But it was also dependent upon Kabil. Oh, okay. well, what, you know, the northern tribes had different foods, different the, Italian, the Italian influence in the south. The time you were there, the Italian influence was stronger? The Italian influence was very strong, of course. Um, Bravani, I can speak a little Bravani down. See, we're You know Bravo? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mimi... It's it's a mixture of Swahili and Somali. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Bra Bravani is, and I'm trying to remember. Do you know any Mai of Mai? I really don't. I know some Swahili, but you know, uh, it's a long time ago. Yeah, well, well, you remember quite a bit, and you came here tonight. Well, I did. That's true. I was. And what was? What do you think of tonight? 
I think it went well, and I think, of course, these are two younger generation, and they, you know, their connection to Somalia. You've been back. Mm -hmm. You didn't mention Jubaland is pretty peaceful right now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's peaceful up there, but uh, and Hamar Wayne is not the Hamar Wayne that was you know. there. When, <laughs> yeah, now it. It goes all the way to Afgoye. And you were in Afgoye, right? Six kilometers before Afgoye. Oh. There's that, a school and, and, there. and the university, what was the name of it? National Teacher Education Center. La Is that La Fole? Yes. Yeah. Is that La Fole? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you remember that too? Yeah. Yeah. Antec. Yeah. Because it was being built when we first moved. Yeah. So we first lived in Mogadishu. Mm -hmm. And then when they finished the, the, the houses where we were going to live, before the students came, then we moved out. Yeah. So if people want to get in touch with you, maybe let's say the people who watch this video, yeah. how can they get in touch with you? Well... And they, what's your name? If you can tell them in full, so they remember. It's Eugene H. Freund, F-R-E-U-N-D. Mm-hmm. At gmail.com. Actually, it's E-H Freund at gmail.com and you have my card. Yeah, I will actually with connect, the email. I will connect with it. I will yeah. put it in this video. Yeah, with the email. And so anything you want to say to the Somali people back mm. home or here? Well, the Somalis are in the old days going way, way back. They were all always known as the Irish of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain what that means? Well, they not only thought they were better than you were, but they were better. They could survive in the desert. They could survive on Anogel. They could walk from one place to another. And usually people who were not Somali could not do that. <laughs> All right. And they could build a Zariba and they, you know, yeah, they knew... They knew how to build a zariba very quickly and knew the tracks of the different animals. They were very, very, very wise people. And do, what do you say to Somalis, Mark? What do I say? It's a, it's a beautiful culture. It's a, it's a beautiful country. And uh, I read the book. It was an interesting book. It's not the Somalia that I know. Okay. What do you say to the Americans who have negative views about Somalia? And I will come to you, Dr. You do what that. do I say to the Americans that have a negative view? They have negative views. They, there shouldn't be. <laughs> Are there good people and bad people all over the world? Yeah, absolutely. The Somalis are good people. Absolutely. They're good people. And it just doesn't make any sense this, this tonight for Somali culture to thrive here in the United States. It needs the previous generation and the generation before that to teach the generations that are here. Uh -huh. And that's important Yeah, because that's where your culture comes from. It comes from your grandmother and your grandfather Yeah, absolutely. and their parents and so on. Yeah. So. And Dr. Eugene, one more word of wisdom for us. One, one more word of wisdom. Well, I think it is a wonderful culture and it's important that young Somalis go back and read the poetry from Somalia, beautiful poetry, and it's in the books and you can find it. And one more last thing, what was your dissertation, of, what's the title of your dissertation? The School at Gabai. Gabai is poetry. Oh, okay. It's a pseudonym. The and this is the... Yeah. The culture at Gabay cross cultural case study of teacher education program. Yeah. 1969 published. Amazing. Yeah. I, out of Michigan? University uh, of Michigan? Well, no, that's out of uh, Wayne State University in Detroit. Okay, perfect. In Detroit. But you can find this, you can look it up and you'll All right. find it. I will definitely. Thank you. Okay.